So now in this video, we're going to talk about the trimmer potentiometer and using it on a breadboard. A trimmer potentiometer is uh, more commonly called a trim pot and uh, it's a potentiometer like this potentiometer but of course it's smaller and it's not made to be used as often. This one is a uh, heavier duty but uh, it won't snap into a breadboard whereas the trimmer potentiometer will and that's the main reason why I use them in my prototype circuits. So now zooming in on the components, we got the potentiometer there and the trim pots there. So you'll notice both of these have three terminals. So this one has three all on one side here. The uh, trim pot has its three terminals, but two of them are on uh, the flat edge here. And then one of them's on the other side of the trim pot. Now you'll also notice both of these, the potentiometer and trim pots, have their values on there. So this is 100 kilo ohms, 100,000 ohms. This is 10 kilo ohms. Now you'll notice this one has a B. Sometimes these have an A or a B too. But uh, what B means is that the uh, potentiometer is linear. The percentage of the distance from one side to the other will be the percentage of the rated value resistance. So one side of the potentiometer will be zero ohms and then all the way is a hundred thousand ohms and if you go halfway it'll be fifty thousand ohms that's what linear means these are also linear even though they don't have B on them sometimes they will sometimes they won't if it says A then what that means is the resistance will probably go up quicker on one side and then not so quick on the other side so if you set it halfway it won't be half the resistance it'll be uh, something else that's for audio equipment and stuff. I'm not going to go into that. You'll learn about that when uh, you get to that point of your studies. But for right now, in uh, basic electronics, you want to make sure there's a B on the potentiometer or that it's linear instead of log. So now we're going to be getting rid of the potentiometer for the rest of this video and just using the trim pot. I just want to mention that the potentiometer is made for more adjustments like if uh, you're going to keep changing the brightness of a light or something due to uh, the day changes and stuff, you'd want the potentiometer. But the trim pot, which is made more for putting inside of a circuit where you set something once to make a fine adjustment and basically leave it there, but have the option to change it again later. It's not made to be adjusted as much, but it's really nice because it will fit in a breadboard. So you can easily make prototype projects with it, whereas that's a lot harder with the potentiometer. So generally, while you're learning electronics, you'll be using the trim pot a lot more than the potentiometer. So now when you need a trim pot in a circuit, when you're looking at the schematic, you'll see a schematic symbol like this. So it's a resistor with an arrow coming to it. Now this could either be a uh, potentiometer or a variable resistor. You can use the trim pot as either of those. We'll talk about that uh, coming up. But in any case, this schematic symbol generally tells you you should use a potentiometer in this case. And the arrow indicates that it's adjustable. So the amount of resistance coming through this point depends on how far along the resistive element it has to go. In any case, as I said, trim pots fit nicely into a breadboard. So we got the three leads here and uh, getting the breadboard you want to position it however the rest of the circuit will be but ultimately you want uh, these two pins somewhere along the path of the five dots there and uh, and then the other pin will go onto the other side of the board and now the uh, pins they don't fit in as easy as leads of components but you just kind of wiggle them down there and finally they'll snap in and the pins here the leads are uh, bigger a little bit bigger than regular components so generally when I put a trim pot into the board I pretty much leave it there because it's kind of stretching the metal a little bit more the components but it's not uh, too bad 
So now we're going to look at the trim pot as a variable resistor, which I show here. Now, this trim pot has a plastic knob here to make adjustments easy. And I'm going to set the line so that the line's pointing that way because I have it turned all the way that way. Now, there's uh, two connection points as a variable resistor. So we got one over here, and normally that's the positive power supply. And then over here, ultimately towards the negative side of the power supply we have the other connection but we're going to measure this with the uh, multimeter instead for right now so now I have the multimeter set to measure resistance and you can see right there we got uh, practically zero ohms of resistance I'm going to turn this about halfway and remember it's a 10 kilo ohm trim pot, 10,000 ohms. And as you can see here, we got 5.4 kilo ohms. Up on the top left there, it said kilo ohms. As you can see, with this auto range meter, it's very important you see what it's measuring at. This one's measuring it at kilo ohms, not ohms. So when you see 5.4, that's 5.4 kilo ohms for 5,400. Now we'll turn it all the way up. And again, we're still measuring those two points. And you can see now it's 9.29 kilo ohms, not quite 10 kilo ohms. These, I don't know if any are, but generally whenever I measure these, they're not exactly at their rated value. They're a little bit off. And uh, this one's more than 5% off. I got it turned all the way. So that's another thing to be aware of. You might not have the exact amount of resistance that it's rated for but it should be fairly close so now getting the circuit ready all we do is we add the uh, input here connect that to the positive rail and you can see that there in schematic symbol you'll notice there's a positive indication here the voltage could be any range of voltage we don't really care about that at the moment but uh, it comes there and then the other end is not going to be attached to anything so that's indicated there and the uh, that's the input and now the outputs over here and we're gonna have to attach a load which ultimately goes to ground the negative side of the power source and now we attach our load which again can be anything depends on what you got going on but in this case we're gonna have an LED with a protective resistor because remember this trim pot can go down to zero ohms of resistance and that will destroy the LED with pretty much any power source. But you can see here we have the output of the trim pot there which is shown there and then that goes through the load and then to ground to the negative terminal of the battery. So current will go through the protective resistor and then the LED, the longer lead, the anodes up here, shorter lead, the cathodes down there so that it will conduct and light up and then that comes to ground. Now, normally people work uh, positive on the left towards negative to the right, and obviously you can do that, uh, either, either way is fine, but these jumpers fit a little better on the left side of the board. The red and blue jumpers, they're longer, and so I like to use these orange and gray ones instead. And so generally I work on this side of the board starting the uh, circuit and ending it as much as possible but uh, normally you'll see things moving positive left to right and also positive to negative up and down and now with the 9 volt battery attached to the two rails you can see the LEDs on a bit it's not very bright that's because I have it turned all the way up to about 10 kilo ohms of resistance remember it's actually closer to 9 but uh, it's about 10 kilo ohms of resistance now I'll turn it this way to zero ohms of resistance. You see the LEDs a lot brighter. And so we can go from very dim to uh, very bright depending on where we set it. So that's how we use it as a variable resistor. So now moving along, you'll see something common in schematics. The unused end of the uh, potentiometer trim pot is connected directly to the wiper. And the reason why is because these uh, wipers, the uh, track that they're connected to, 
they'll lose connection at some point and uh, depends on the quality of them and, and stuff like that and what this does is it gives you another route for a conductive path now this will be the full resistance of the trim pot and if the uh, output here is not working it's not delivering any current all the current has to go through the whole track and then through here so you'll just be stuck with the full resistance so now I don't have a trim pot with a bad wiper but ultimately what you're doing is connecting the output there directly to here so if the outputs not working because you have a bad wiper basically you're connected right to this part of the trim pot you'll see the LED is dim and if you keep adjusting it and it doesn't change the brightness of the LED that's an indicator that the uh, wiper is bad so you have no current coming out of here all the currents coming out of here just like in this setup so as I said if you're adjusting it but the output is the same and you have this backup connection that's a pretty good indicator that you lost your wiper it's not making a connection anymore so now we're going to look at the trim pot or a potentiometer as a voltage divider and this is really how they're used they're generally not used as variable resistors and I'll, I'll show you why but in any case we got uh, one of the inputs directly to positive and the other input directly to negative now and so of course you would never connect uh, directly across for uh, this there is no backup if the wiper goes bad you're just not gonna have that connection anymore so what this does is it actually gives us a variable voltage between the full voltage of the battery to zero volts you see it's grounded both here so if you move the wiper down to here that's basically grounded you're connected to the same spot and there's no way current can flow current can only flow positive to negative so now I forgot one thing now right now it's working as it should it's fully bright but as I said when I turn this down the LED will go all the way off because both sides are connected to ground but I forgot to add one thing you'll notice the LED is still on so now I got the jumper wires I usually have on another board I got positive to positive there so now this rail is also energized and then negative to negative there so since I have the negative there it also energizes this rail because I'm using both rails for negative right now and now when I turn the trim pot all the way down you'll see that the LED goes all the way off and that's the great thing about using the potentiometer or trim pot as a voltage divider ultimately the outputs at zero volts right now over here is zero volts zero volts on both sides of the LED it's off but if I turn it well halfway then we'll have about 4.5 volts and then when I turn it all the way up we'll have about 9 volts at the output because I'm using a 9 volt battery and before we move on I want to say this is a 470 ohm resistor that's the minimum value resistor I usually use to protect an LED from a 9 volt uh, power supply and of course every time you learn something new you should practice using the multimeter with it so right now I think the uh, trim pot set all the way towards positive we should have about 9 volts and there you can see it's about 9 volts the battery is slightly higher than 9 volts about uh, 9.16 uh, if I remember but in any case now we'll set about halfway so again this is going to be more positive than the ground or equal and so we can just connect any spot that goes to ground and about halfway you see we're close to about 4.5 volts about halfway down and now when we turn it all the way towards uh, the negative down there now this should be a direct connection basically from here to here so we should have zero volts at the output and you can see there's zero volts at the output you can also take these measurements while you have a load it doesn't really matter the multimeter doesn't take much current to take a measurement hardly any and so it won't alter things uh, too much you can take these measurements with the load still there so when you see a potentiometer schematic symbol or even 
multiple resistors positive on one side negative to the other side that's a voltage divider potentiometers and trim pots make great voltage dividers because the wiper is going between two resistances so you can vary it that's what makes it such a useful component so when you see the schematic symbol with uh, positive on one side the ground or negative on the other side you know you're getting a variable resistance through the load and the other thing I want to mention is that the potentiometer the trim pot in this case is always conducting current and there's a resistive element that goes from that side to that side so it's always working as about a 10,000 ohm resistance so the battery is draining right now whenever you use a potentiometer or voltage divider even if it doesn't look like anything's going on it's always leaking current through here so you always want to remove the power supply when you're done 